Last week, we took you along for a day in the life, refitting our catamaran in New Zealand. We showed you around the yard, then jumped right into boat work, tearing apart our cabin and yanking out our rusty cockpit fridge. This week, join us as we continue to make progress toward a massive electrical upgrade, and don't forget to subscribe to Tag Along on the Adventure. So here's the deal. We've been waiting to hear from a carpenter for weeks and it's been crickets. So we went ahead and started the aft cabin demo ourselves last week. And I think the plan is to just keep trudging along with that this week. We're gonna go to the hardware store, get some more tools, get to the yard and just get after it, I guess. I'm registering all the tools we just bought online to activate the warranty because I figure the chances of us breaking something are pretty high. How's it going down here, darling? Good. The demo is pretty much finished. I mean, I <laughs> it looks take, like it. What well, else did you knock out? Whoa. Hold on a minute. See what I see? What? I thought I saw it when I was looking at the photo earlier. You're making me nervous. No. <laughs> Is it a bug? <gasps> well, I'll be dipped! 10 no, millimeter! No way! 10 millimeter! How many of those have you bought in the past year? About two less than I've lost. <laughs> the Lagoon builders, designers make me want to scream, to pull my hair out, mm -hmm. to drink, to drink. Oh, they make me want is. to drink. <laughs> They do, it's puzzle pieces that go together. You can see here, here, then it's screwed, but this is all built outside the boat. So they have, it's all screwed together from underneath so you can't get to it. And then it's glued. Um, and you would think that, although it's a pain to work on, you would think, oh, well, at least it won't squeak and creak and pop. No. It's very loud. So do you have an approach for when you rebuild this that will hopefully lessen I've got some ideas. Weeks? I've got some ideas. I'm not a carpenter. I'm not a designer. But I gotta figure something out because this is our bed. What's the general plan here? A whole bunch of batteries. Mm -hmm. Inverter. Mm -hmm. Isolation transformer. Mm -hmm. Solar chargers, 240 volt chargers. A lot of stuff, tiny space. I mean, less tiny than before. Yeah, the space will be fine because we're going to build, it's going to, this, all this area is going to be available. I'll probably cut this off here, you know? Yeah. So. These floors dent so easily. So if we're going to do this, I want to put down some protective paper that we bought to hopefully prevent any damage since we're going to be in and out of here with tools and equipment for the foreseeable future. What over here? One of... A new 24 volt lithium batteries. We've been chatting with the team at NZ Lithium for a while now, designing our dream electrical system. They were kind enough to send us three empty battery shells to use as placeholders while we build out the area where we plan to store them. You might remember we switched from AGM to lithium iron phosphate batteries a few years ago, and not to be dramatic, but it changed our lives. <laughs> Sabado became exponentially more comfortable, and as the technology has continued to advance, we've been eager to expand our system. If you're interested in all the nitty-gritty details, our crew and VIPs have exclusive access to our project list, including a recent post from Ray that details our power demands, equipment specifications, and upgrade plans. We probably could have done this without tearing the bed apart. That's not <laughs> 
sad. That one cut is cute. No, I, no I, we would have. Yeah, that, I mean, that's all. I had, that was the only cut I had to do. <laughs> it gives me a chance to like stiffen it up. Yeah. All right, so I need to put a board underneath here so this is stiffer. Keep the squeaks from happening. Yeah. But I need to put a board under this to support this battery and keep squeaks from happening. So that's fine. I need it needs to be done. I mean, it fits great. And that's going to be so much power. These are 24 volt batteries, 340 amp hours each. And this is a 12 volt battery that's 300 amp hours. So this is our going to be our buffer battery for our 12 volt system. And then these will feed our inverter and high load items. So yeah, no, it fits, it's gonna be great. The kilovolts are good batteries. I mean, they're, they're working fantastic for us still, um, but they stopped making them. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's, that's, a, that's an issue. Um, but uh, if any of you have kilovolts and you are looking to expand your battery bank or you want some spares, we've got two that we are not installing. And we could fit one over there, but no need. So we have two that uh, are up for grabs. If anyone wants them, just reach out to us. We'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Now just to figure out how to build a bed. Well, good news. We've been upgraded from a wobbly ladder to an actual staircase. Bad news, I sat on my sunglasses. So <laughs> I think we're done for the day. See, this one's gonna come off too. It's freaking falling apart. I'll fix it later. He's already got 5,200 on both of them. I, I'd spend all the money on the boat. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be flip-flop weather again soon. We've started a bit of a collection under here. We've got all the wood from our bed. And then this is the fridge we pulled out last week. We still need to figure out the proper way to dispose of that. See you tomorrow, Sabado. Even though we're done at the yard, we like to kind of try and keep the momentum going for a little bit. So this is the spare bedroom at our rental house that we have completely turned into our storage room. These are pretty much all of our belongings from the boat. So every week I just try and go through a little bit. And Ray is down in the garage sorting through the screws he brought home. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna sit down for this one because we're tired. <laughs> That's a wrap for this week's <laughs> video, you guys. Um, but we wanted to go through some of the updates that we didn't catch on camera this week because there were quite a few. I think the most recent and the biggest cause for celebration is that we got our visas approved. Yeah, it's uh, it's a big one for us. You know, we really put uh, a lot of faith <laughs> in the <laughs> fact that not only can we get the visa, which you know you're pretty that that's a pretty sure thing but we did ask for longer than the standard uh, amount of time uh, you know we asked for nine months uh, and yeah so we, we got it which is good because we have a lot of work and we're doing a lot of work and we've already started and so it would have been um, quite the derailment of our plans if we didn't get the length of time that we were sort of anticipating and planning all of our yeah, projects we, around we were holding back on on a couple of the really big, look at that size of that spider. There's no way that's not poisonous. Nah, it's fine. It's eating all the mosquitoes. Well, they say that in Australia, that's where everything wants to kill you. And in New Zealand, nothing wants to kill you, right? So are there even poisonous spiders? No, the drivers, I think, want to kill you. No, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just you on no, the wrong side. That's right. <laughs> no, but back to project. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, our visa got approved. So that's a big green check mark on our list yeah we what else did we do this we week oh uh, we we just approved the quote for uh the rig replacement we're going to pull the mast and replace all the rig oh i can't imagine <laughs> seeing Sado without a mast so that's going to start at uh, the end of this month so crazy and you know you can you can replace the standing rigging without removing the mast but there's some things internal to the mast uh mainly the wires that are clanking around that uh 
we want to uh, to address. Uh, we hope to have. Well, we've got a couple of, of estimates right now from vendors, from cabinet makers on building out the workshop. Um, we, we're waiting for a couple more. Uh, we're hoping to get started on that one soon. The port forward cabin of Sabado right now, we call it our garage, and it's just been a mess. It's, it's not very functional. We're really craving a space where we can store tools and spare parts uh, well we don't use it as a cabin yeah you know we've had a few people mention to us that you know we're hurting the resale value if we remove one of the cabins and turn it into a workshop and we're, we're not sure. we don't we don't <laughs> we don't care about resale yeah, value. Yeah, we've We're, thought about this for years and the resale value is admittedly kind of one of the factors that has made us wait until now to take steps to convert it. But, but it's, our, it's our home. Yeah. It's, it's our home. We're, we're going to live in it for... There's no end in sight. You know, a, a long time and so we're going to make it exactly what we want. Yeah. And hopefully when the time comes, the right buyer will think of it as an asset. Like, wow, thank God these guys did this. Right. We don't want more than two guests on board at a time anyway. Yeah, to be honest. <laughs> so we've been collecting quotes this week, you were saying. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we've got uh, we've got a few more coming in. We're hoping to, to start on that next month. Um, we had been putting off the demolition for that cabin because we wanted to make sure we got our visa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we're hoping to get started on that November, um, December, uh, from what we've been told, December in New Zealand uh, sort of uh, brings things to a standstill, just like in the U.S. So, yeah. um, you know, if we don't if we don't get started in November, then we'll put it off until the, uh, the beginning of the new year. Yep. So, yeah. But that kind of brings us up where we are now, right? Well, we, we ordered uh, some marine plywood to start figuring out how to build the bed. Yeah, so I did a lot of tool shopping while we've been here. <laughs> uh, so we we might have to we might have to convert the the uh, the, the other cabin into a tool room store. Yeah, <laughs> the, the entire porthole is just tools <laughs> and spare parts. No, yeah. hopefully we'll be able to sell some of these tools before we leave. So if you're heading this way and you need some tools, or a car, <laughs> or a car, hit us up. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. We're posting as close to real time as we can. So if you guys have any connections or recommendations for us here in New Zealand, we'd love to yeah. hear it. And a huge thank you to our crew and VIP members for supporting us and giving us advice during this whole process. Um, it's been really great to yeah, kind of make this a team effort. You guys have been a huge help. Really, huge help. really appreciate the contacts and uh, the ideas for what to do while we're here and yeah. not working on the boat <laughs> yeah seriously um but that's it for this week guys yeah, thank, thank you. you so much for watching and we'll see you next time all right okay i couldn't end this video without showing you guys how beautiful it is this evening the rainbow are you kidding oh i feel so lucky Alright, I'm done for today. Alright, call it quits for the day. Yep. You want to put that in maybe a more responsible place? I don't want to like move it too far from where it's been for the last <laughs> six, seven years. You want it to get homesick? Yeah. <laughs> Guess who I am? Bang, 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 bang! Woohoo! Bang, bang!